so hi, my name's Lisa. I'm the product manager for K Adventure Travel for the Canary Islands and also for the amazing island of Tenerife, where I am at the moment. Um, I'm here um, refining our tours that we have on Tenerife and also looking for some new ideas, which is all quite exciting. Uh, things that we've done this week then. Uh, well, just behind me, you can just see behind the palm trees there, you can just see the top of um, Tady. So we've been up there this week and for anybody who's worried about going up to um, over 3,800 metres, you don't have to because our wonderful guides, Cow and Aaron, who are from the island of Tenerife, uh, will be with you every step of the way. So that's a definite. Uh, for myself, my favourite area here, um, I would say after Tady is the area of Anaga. It's very prehistoric and green and lush, a complete contrast to where we are now. We're quite lucky today because you can just see Tady. So um, my top tips for coming to Tenerife, things you need to pack, sunglasses, really important. Um, sun cream as well. Um, it's really good to have a buff with you because sometimes it does get, you can probably hear the wind, so it does get a little bit windy and also trekking poles. Um, so a couple of my favourites, I would say favourite food. You must, must try the wrinkly potatoes here and that's all I'm going to say. I'll leave that as a little surprise for you. Um, and favourite drink after dinner, everybody gets given a honey rum. It's a local speciality from the, the island, and so I would say try that. So, as I said, we're, we're quite lucky today. It is a little bit windy, but um, you couldn't have better views than there. And if you fancy standing on the top of not only the highest peak in the Canary Islands, but of course the biggest mountain in the whole of Spain, then you must climb Pico Tady. Alright, so I wave goodbye from Tenerife.